I'm Laz. Welcome to my girly room. I hope you all enjoy. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you want to see a makeup vanity because I'm not going to go in depth with that, but as you could see, I have one. And please subscribe to my channel for more videos every week. I'll try to link everything I mention in this video down below so you guys can check out where I got everything. I'll try my best to do that. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So over here, as I mentioned in the intro, I do have my makeup vanity. I'm not going to go in depth with this because then this video will be way too long. So I'm just going to link down where I got the furniture. And if you want a updated makeup vanity, because I organized it so much, and I think it's so much better, and that video, I'll go more in depth with this. So comment down below if you would like a makeup vanity, because I'd be more than happy to do that for you. Over here, I have all my jewelry, so I sectioned it off by necklaces, bracelets, more necklaces, the bigger ones and chokers, and my rings, and I just store some cute little boxes up here that I got from beauty underscore ba, her website. I will link down below because she has the cutest stuff and she has a lot of discounts all the time. So you guys should really check her out. She's such an amazing person and so pretty. So over here I have these little Chanel. Come over here. Let me show you guys a little more in depth with it. This is so much better. So over here I have my little Chanel uh, makeup brushes, but I don't really put any brushes in here. It's just more for decor and this is from also um, Beauty underscore bod that is her Instagram name, but her um, YouTube or not her YouTube. What am I saying? Her website is the classy pink boutique and I will link down below. Maybe that's the right one. Maybe I'm getting the URL wrong, but I will link down below right over here is one of my most favorite parts of my room and I love the little glass slipper because I love Cinderella and it just says Princess Sasha. I got it when I was very little and I went to the store and they like blew it up for me. It's very, it's pure glass and it has a cute little heart on it. I love it so much. Over here I have my little Panda Bear lip balm and it's so cute. Up here I have my baby pictures. And I just like to put it up here because it reminds me of like, you know, get it makeup because it's on my makeup vanity. So when I wasn't wearing makeup, obviously because I was a little baby, but it shows like a huge transition. So that's really cute. Then I have all my nail polishes here and I don't know what I'm going to put up here yet, but um, I'll make an Instagram photo once I figure it out. Over here, as I mentioned before, I have my jewelry and... Over here, I keep my little bracelets, and then here I keep my necklaces, and then here I keep my rings and my other necklaces, which are more, which is bigger, and my chokers and chain, and here's some more rings. Down here, I have just this Henry Bendel bag with like little tiny boxes in it. I love it because it's so cute for decor. And then here, I just store some like... I don't even know what's in there just some like storage and all that and then under here more storage here is my actual makeup vanity and here I keep all my perfumes that I like every day I keep the ones that I wear like on a daily basis in front and then over here I have my roller ball perfumes and then here I have my shabby chic um, princess mirror which I really really love and here I have my aqua polaroid camera, but I think I'm going to switch that because I had the other one in my room, which is white, so I'm going to switch it. And then here I have just my favorite palettes out here that I use because this one is pink and this one is like kind of pinkish and they smell so good. And over here in this drawer section, I keep my brushes and I'm not going to go in depth with so over here, the thing was, I kept my other um, lens here, but the thing is that this is the radiator, so the heat was coming out so much, and I didn't want it to burn. So over here is where I do a lot of my editing, and I just search the web. That's what everyone does these days, am I right? <laughs> so this is obviously my bed, as I said, and... It's so comfy. I just love it so much. It's so soft and I love all my pink blankets and 
This is a Prada um, Milano pillow, and I forgot where I got it, but if I remember, I will leave a link down below. And then this pillow over here is one of my favorites. It is, it still has a tag on it, which is great. It's from, uh, Jewel, it's from Star by Julie McDonald. Um, and I'll leave a link for that down below as well. And then this pillow over here I got from um, Amaze, Amaze Amazing Life. I, for, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll leave a link to that as well. Here is my teddy that I sleep with, and over here is my night table, and I just keep my glasses when I don't wear my contacts, and then down here I just keep some magazines and books, not that special, um, and then I have my Starbucks cup that I use for school sometimes, I take it to school like in the spring slash almost when school's ending. Up here I have my birthday princess tiara and then up here I have my sweet like Ari hair mist and I use this all the time, it smells so good. Over here I have my little hair bow that I got for my birthday and then I have my princess sparkly tiara which I am obsessed with, it's so sparkly and I love it. And then that is about it for over here. And then I have my mannequin, which I'll show you is right here. So as I said before, this is my mannequin, and I dress it according to the season. So this season is obviously winter, and it's very pink and sparkly, and I feel like it's perfect for the winter. And then like this big, fluffy white um, faux fur coat. It's like a little coat shawl, whatever you want to call it. And soon it's going to be spring, so I'm going to be changing my mannequin, and I'll be posting a picture on Instagram for that, so stay tuned for that. Over here, I have my little lounge area, and I edit here sometimes too. So I have my little Stitch um, stuffed animal, and then I have my um, 101 Dalmatians dog, which I dressed up as... Um, I dressed up as Cruella de Vil one year for Purim. I think that was last year actually that I did. And then this is one of my backdrops for filming my videos and I have another one under that. Here are the um, here are the crossbody bags slash purses that I use most often. And then here I have another shabby chic um, nightgown and then I have my night coat that I like to wear. They're both shabby chic and I'll leave a link down below where I got them. I got them from Emily from up of her Etsy account and I'll leave a link down to it below. Um, and then over here is like a wall of all the celebrities that my friends have signed for my bat mitzvah and I like to keep it here just it's like a little cute memory. Cute little quotes over here that I'll show you in a moment. So this quote says don't let don't ever let anyone dull your sparkle. This one says La Vie en Rose, which, which means looking through rose-colored glasses, and I love that because everything to me is, like, pink. Just kidding, not everything, but, like, I like to think of it like that because I love pink. Pink is just a way of life. Then over here, this quote is, Every day is a fashion show and the world is a runway, and that is, like, so true for me because that's, like, a perfect quote. So this is it for my girly shabby chic pink room tour. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up once again. And comment down below your favorite part of my room. I think my favorite part is probably my vanity, obviously, because who doesn't love makeup, right? <laughs> so I hope you guys liked it. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. I love you all so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, princesses. Mwah.